Hello oh, there. Man. Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars in a Galaxy, watching all the Star Wars we can get our hands on. I am Eli. I am an S-tier human being. <laughs> and I'm Jacob, and I am an A-tier human being. <laughs> so, judging by that crazy intro, you probably know that this is not episode 42 of Star Wars in a Galaxy. That's going to be next week. We're taking a week off to do a special episode. And what did Jacob and I decide to do with ourselves for this special episode? Um, we decided, um, for those of you who don't know, uh, we're using the services of the excellent website, tiermaker.com, in which you can make different tier lists of different things in different categories. And wouldn't you know it, there are. It is a website chock full of Star Wars tier lists. And so we thought, we'd do some Star Wars tier lists. We have eight Star Wars tier lists that we are going to both do. Um, I've also set up the official In a Galaxy Star Wars, uh, not Star Wars, I set up the official In a Galaxy tier maker account, so all of these will be published live after the episode. Um, and yeah, I, th I think it'll be pretty fun. So a couple of things to know before we talk about our tier lists. Due to reasons i don't exactly know why but these are this this just kind of happened this way um tier lists uh tiers are not intuitive they're not a b c d e there's actually an extra tier above a which is s which in my tier maker has an entire explanation on their website about why that is um what i boil it down to is s is super so that's what I that's what I say. Let's do this Jedi and si Jedi's and Sith's one. Yes, that hurt me as much to say as it did probably for you to listen. Um, I'm saying it as as it's presented. You can see this, Jacob, right? Yes, I can. I can okay, see here we go. Magic so screen sharing. Um, there are 40 Jedi and Sith characters from the Star Wars movies, and Jacob and I are gonna have discussions on where they should be. First one, Ala Secura. We're doing this based on how much we like them and how interesting they are yeah. and how powerful they are, right? Yeah, I, I don't want to do power. Let's do interest. I feel like based purely purely on the movies, she would be like a D because we don't really see Let's consider much. everything. Let's consider but the with Clone the Wars. With the shows, I feel like she's a B or an A. Like I was going to go with B myself. I was going to go with B myself. So I have a soft spot for her, but yeah, I think B, I think B. B is good. That's like, she's good. Like yeah. B, B is good. I like her. She's good. Um, Adi Galia. Now remind me, does Adi Galia show up in the Clone Wars at all? Yeah, she's uh, she helps rescue Master Koth from Grievous's forces, oh, and cool. she also um, I like her for she, that. She dies from uh, by Savage Press in. Remember, he he oh, headbutts yeah, her that's, oh, that's in the so most unconvincing kill of all time. Yeah, that part like I feel like she could have had. It feels a little bit unfair almost to her. Yeah. Because I thought she was so like badass inspiring. In yeah, the, I in like the, Adi um, my, myself, talk, yeah. Rescue. Part. I would go with B or C. Yeah, I feel like a C. I yeah. thought she's C where it's like it's it's she's alright, but yeah. she had a lot of potential, but who is next? Is that Egan Kolar. Okay, walk me through Egan Kolar, because I don't know where he shows up. He is the first guy to die by Palpatine's lightsaber in a Star Wars movie. F. Um, Automatic F. <laughs> yeah, I was about to Automatic say, F. I would put him at uh, the highest. I feel like I F. Put like him he's at such D a non-factor. Does, does he even speak in any of the movies? He doesn't. You want to know something even more embarrassing? What? He has no lines in the Clone Wars either. All right, sorry, Egan. Yeah, off. F. You hate, you hate we to got, see it, but we got, we got our first F. The champ. Himself, Anakin, Anakin Skywalker. Skywalker. Okay, this is an interesting one because based on it, his role, he yeah. should be an S. But I just yeah. don't like him very much. That's he's my dilemma too. It's like, like, like importance S tier, one hundred percent. Likeability, he's in like C or D, and that's pretty much on the back of Matt Lanter. I'm surprised Matt Lanter's still alive and standing from carrying the role of Anakin on his back so much. I feel um, like he's an I feel like he's an S tier though, especially given the Clone Wars. You know, Matt yeah, Lanter really. I I actually I want to put him in A just as like a little compromise because like you know he's just so sure? unlikable in the prequels. Okay, if you really want, but I, yeah, actually, I think let's S -tier. put him S. Let's put him yeah, S, -tier. S tier. Matt Lanter really does a. I feel like Matt Lanter really brings him to life in it yeah. and adds. And we get, and we can't forget about Sebastian Shaw 
and his work oh, with yeah, him in Return true, of the yeah. Jedi, which is the best portrayal of Anakin Skywalker, in my opinion, ever, <laughs> period. Wow. I mean, that is a truly, truly unexpected opinion. I did not expect to hear that coming out of your mouth today, but I love it. Go, my son is one of the most heartbreaking scenes in Star Wars. Yeah, um, it is. Uh, it's also heartwarming. It's bittersweet. Yeah, I, I love, I love that sweet. scene is beautiful. And you know how much I love Return of the Jedi, so. It's, your, Return of the Jedi is your number one, right? Yep, absolutely. Number one, baby. Um, okay, Maybe next, next, we have Asajj Ventress. Ooh, this is an interesting one. I yeah. like Savage Press. Wait, I just said Savage Press. Asajj Ventress. Asajj <laughs> yeah, Ventress. Yeah, I this like Asajj Ventress. This is going to be a Devices one. Yeah, um, I think you like her a lot more than I do. Yeah, I think she she starts out not very likable, but I think over time, I don't, I don't think I would say she's she gets likable. But you know, as she goes through the process of of reuniting with the Night Sisters and escaping yeah. with just her life, as Grievous tears I'm, everything down, I'm re-watching the Clone Wars right now, and Hunter. I'm just getting to those episodes like literally right now. Um, yeah, I you know I, I I'm gonna beat you in the middle. Let's go. I'm thinking A or B. Yeah, I think she is an A character. I think she's I'm, very interesting. I'm more going her... more towards B, but... Are you sure? Please. Yeah, let's go, A. All right, let's go. Um, we got to populate the different lists. Uh, Ahsoka, Ahsoka Tano. S tier, automatically, S-tier. let's go. Auto S tier, auto S tier. We don't have to say anything. We don't even have to say anything. Ahsoka Tano is one of the greatest Star Wars, not just Force users, characters in Star Wars, period. What period. is it that makes her so likable? She is incredible. What that girl has to go through at the age of 14 alone is nothing short of incredible. Yeah. Um, I think it, she's so she's just so likable because you can really see like the little steps that she takes growing up over the yeah. course of the Clone Wars and it really humanizes her in a way that few and characters... As, as much as I love like Ahsoka... Yeah, as much as I love Ahsoka, oh sorry, go ahead, sorry. No, it's okay. I finished. As much yeah. as I love Ahsoka as a Jedi, I actually like her more not as a Jedi. To be completely honest, I think Ahsoka's like the, best Ahsoka stories. The, Ahsoka the Gray. I think Ahsoka's Ahsoka best Ahsoka stories are post season five of the Clone Wars, season seven of the Clone mm-hmm. Wars, season two of Rebels, The Mandalorian. Now, I think those are Ahsoka's best stories. To be completely honest with you, I'm gonna have to disagree, but I, that's true. Rebels, Ahsoka, rocks yeah, Rebels the world. Ahsoka she is prime. so so awesome i wish we could have seen more of her i don't know she just had yeah. so much wisdom and it was really clear how yeah. how how much she had changed and gained knowledge and growth since next one okay. coleman trevor automatic f tier i don't care what coleman anybody trevor, the says dinosaur jedi i don't, don't care what anybody who, says who automatic s tier uh, f tier what didn't we have someone on who hates coleman trevor i can't remember if i think was. that was that was alden diaz Oh, yeah. Wait, and he it? has reason dude 360 degree vision yeah a, a master of form three defensive fighting master of it and he gets no scoped by Django fett it's no scope by Django fett oh <laughs> that's God. what happens I to him <laughs> that's he literally no scope by you can, he's just like Django <laughs> fett just like Shoots him once and he doesn't even try to block it and then he falls off the side of a balcony. Like that that is wow. what happens. Automatic F tier. Next oh, guy, brother. you probably no, don't no. recognize him. That is indeed Darth Bane. Ooh, S tier, um, I think. Yeah, I I, I I was gonna put him in S tier, but then I'm like, oh Jacob's never gonna want to put him in S tier. No, yeah, no, S tier. I think his S tier. Um, the way he in Legends he just changed the philosophy of the Sith. And the way he he just had the guts to be such an iconoclast is really interesting. And even though I don't really agree with anything he says, it's so interesting because of everyone on this list. I think he like has he has the most conviction. He's so strongly he so strongly believes in his what own he does supremacy. That he's willing yeah. to just like blow up the entire Sith establishment, like every any every even like all his mentors. I, um, for a long time, Bane was my favorite Sith Lord, and I still love the character, and I'm so, so glad he's in canon now. Um, yeah, he's also voiced cool. by Mark freaking Hamill in the Clone Wars. I mean, <laughs> that is a very, that come is a on. Close, yeah. Who um, doesn't love Mark Hamill? Oh, this next uh, one, I think it's going to be divisive. Cora Darth Maul. Yeah, Darth Maul. 
Well, I think Jacob's probably going to want to put him A, B tier. I would vote for, I would vote honestly for like A or S tier, but I want to hear what you have to I, I would, hear I would go automatic F, F tier for Maul, but, oh, um, man. uh, Let's cause compromise. I freaking hate Maul. Um, you want to compromise and do C tier? I was thinking like B tier. I'll even, okay, yeah, I'll, B tier. I'll yeah, even wager B tier for him. Like, um, yeah. I know it's kind of, I know it. There are some characters of... along that, like, like I gave you a uh, Ventress and uh, Maul. There are going to be some characters along that I'm going to have way stronger opinions about. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm just warning you. You already know. I we know. get personally our boy yeah. Darth Vader next. Darth Vader. Ooh. I don't think I like Darth Vader. He's. I don't I think feel like he has to be an S tier. He deserves anything less than S tier. Yeah. I... Um. He's Darth freaking Vader. I mean, like, come on. He's he's just incredible. Um, I think next. that where he really becomes interesting yeah. is not necessarily in how he plays with other Jedi and Sith, but how the effect he has on the Imperials and the way that he himself is a yeah. propaganda tool. Yeah. And is like this myth becomes in a very short time this mythical figure in the Empire that everyone is so, so scared of. And I really love what the new canon has done with him. A lot of his experience, uh, his appearances in the new canon have been very well earned, in my opinion. The Rebels' appearance of Vader was very well earned, in my opinion. The Fallen Order appearance at the end of Fallen Order of Vader was really well earned and, re and very well executed as well. I was very... And, and Vader in Rogue One, in, in Rogue One. All of Vader's appearances in the new canon, I felt, were good and earned. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, next... Jedi Master Deepa Balaba. Mm, we have a lot more an interesting one. in Legends for her than in canon. We don't really know what her deal is in canon. Uh, we, of course, do know she was the master of Caleb Doom, who would then become Kanan Jarrus. But beyond yeah. that, I can't really, like, tell you, like... Because, like, in my view, C tier is our, like, average tier. And... Yeah. Actually, I feel like D tier is really our average tier, so I feel like I want to. I, th I think no, it's C tier. It's got to be. C -tier. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think Balaba belongs in C tier. Yeah, I would put her in D tier, but honestly, I think that Kane and Jarrus and his his arc in Rebels kind of almost breathes a little bit more life into her character. Yeah, ironically, just because of yeah. how much he talks about her. Next, Dooku, Darth Tyrannus, or Count Dooku. I think if this were Jacob's list, Dooku would end up a little lower than on my list. Yeah, I'd probably put him like B tier. Like he's he's yeah. well, maybe A tier. He's pretty interesting. I think I th I'd put him I'd put him A, maybe even wagering into S. I think we should put him A tier. Okay, yeah, I'm fine with that. I, um, I know you're a big Dooku fan. Right? I'm very big Dooku fan. I actually think it's interesting. Sucks. Do we ever get a canon explanation of why he's a Sith Lord but his eyes don't turn yellow? Because he's special that way. <laughs> he's just um. special that way. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, next we get. Uh, Jedi Master Eth Koth. Hmm. Um, I feel like we don't see a lot of Eth Koth anymore. You know, if if the episode Grievous Intrigue didn't exist, I'd be poised to place Koth at a D or an F tier. But just because of the episode Grievous Intrigue, I feel like he deserves C. Yeah, I think he's a C tier. He's got a little yeah. bit of dimension. Yeah. Grieves entry. Very I don't good know. I, I don't good, know. I feel like he should be D tier appearance. though. I feel like that just doesn't do justice to to Audie Gallia and um. Mm. I yeah, want to let's know. leave him at C. Okay, let's yeah, leave yeah. Him. C tier. That's that's fair. C tier. Master even peel. That's an, it's another cough situation because without the Citadel arc, you know, we wouldn't really have any dimension to peel. Yeah. And is um, there a lot of new canon material about him? In, in there really isn't. I don't such? think. I'm, I wonder what there is in Legends. Like to be honest, I don't know, and I wish I, I don't. I yeah. I bet there is, but if there is, I'm just yeah. I'm just not. I'm not thinking C or D for Peel. I don't know. He seems likable to me. You know, size yeah. matters. I like not... I like him. We just don't have a. We have three Clone Wars episodes on him. Yeah. He also teams up with at... Tarkin. So tell tell me say that. I guess. I that's, I, that's I was thinking C myself. Oh, but okay. Yeah, C tier. Let's sure. do C. Um, let's do it. Yeah. Next. General Grievous. He's not a Jedi or a Sith. Are you sure we should include him on the chart? I don't really care. Um, I mean, it's going to be hard to place him for me, but I don't know. 
Oh, I'm. I would. For me, Grievous would be A tier. Okay, yeah, Grievous the A tier sounds fine. I yeah. feel like if it were me, I'd put him in a B tier, but I'm fine with A tier. You know, he's interesting, but yeah. The next guy is a guy you don't know about because he's Force Unleashed. There are three Force Un no four Force Unleashed characters on here. Um, that I think I might have to guide you a little bit towards. Um, this guy is a na guy, uh, Jedi named Kazdan Paratus. He's a Jedi who, in Legends, I'm really sorry to say this line to you because I know you really hate it. He survived Order sixty six. <laughs> um, oh, interesting. Okay. But uh, he was like a junk. He he was he was very he had a very diminutive of size, and so because of that, his specialty was building like. Robo mechs for him to ride into battle, basically. And he was a um, Jedi, and he rode he was, in a Robo mech. I mean, that's an interesting idea. Yeah. Um, you fight him the in the Robo Force Unleashed. The force? What? Did he control the Robo mech with the Force? I think so. Um, okay, yeah. that's pretty. It's cool. been a while since I played Force Unleashed. Um, but you find him on the world of Rex's Prime, which is, looks very different in Legends than it does in Canon. Um, mm, yeah. So, uh, I I wasn't too inspired by um paratus i'd put him at b at best maybe c yeah i mean he's a good concept it just wasn't executed particularly yeah. like stunningly you know what i mean yeah I, i'm gonna say c just because i don't know anything yeah. about him um next we have mr what about the droid attack on the wookies Ooh, this is an interesting one hmm Hmm. I'm not sure quite what. Because I like him, but like he's also really problematic. Like I'd yeah. put him at C tier because it feels like for every um good quality about him, there seems to be a flaw of equal value. Honestly, yeah, I I think that's that's probably true. I would even put him at D tier just because of the fan theory about how he is single handedly responsible for the fall of the Republic. And to be honest, he is he is pretty uh. Yeah, He's okay, let's do D. stuck up sometimes. Let's do D. Another non-Jedi, non-Sith, but, like, we'll roll with it anyway. For the Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren. Is this now, including Ben... Do we include Ben Solo in this? I'm gonna say no. Okay, we, okay. That, just that because Anakin and Vader. That's the only... I think this was made before Rise of Skywalker, <laughs> but, I, I, but even so, I'm gonna say Kylo Ren, not Ben Solo. Okay. So like I think have... Kyle think seven eight and nine up until he arrives on Kef Beer. Yeah okay. I don't have um, a particularly strong feeling about this. I'd be inclined to maybe put him in the B tier because while I think Adam Driver does do a very good job just kind of bringing out his like impotent rage, and that does seem to me to kind of be his biggest uh, character trait. I just don't think he does enough beyond that to merit being in the same tier as someone like Asajj or Dooku. So, you know if it were me, I'd automatically put him in S tier because Oh, okay. I love Kylo Ren. I love his character. I think, you know, and of course my sequel love probably gets in there, but like um I think maybe B, I would push him to A. There are a okay, couple yeah. characters that I'm, I would I'm comfortable push. with having him in A. We can wait, yeah, let's let's compromise and put him in yeah. A tier. How yeah. About? There's only one Split more character on this list that I feel so strongly about, really, that I okay. think you might have a con con conflicting opinion on. Um, Ooh, who we got next? We got a big one next. Kit, Kit Fisto. Kit Fisto. Mm. I mean, if, if, it were my, it were, if it were my tier list, I'd put him automatically in S tier. But like, Really? I get that people like him. I get that he's a fan favorite. I, and I get that he just I love has the, that. I thought you, you loved him as much as I did. I know, I know. But I get, I get that he has that cool factor. But what does he do to merit being in the... He almost tier. defeats General Grievous. That's on true. Vasic. I forgot about that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we can let's put him in S tier. I'm, yeah, I'm feeling S tier. We love Kit Fisto. Kit Fisto. We yeah. love. We stand Kit Fisto. Fisto in this household. Um. Okay. Here we go. Next, we got the Golden Boy of the Rebellion himself, Luke Skywalker. Skywalker. You know. I got us. I'm for me. It's automatic S tier. Me too. Think? Automatic S tier. Let's get him up there. I don't know. Luke is just. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't consider anything else. This yeah. may be one of the most controversial characters on this list. Mace Windu. Ooh, I see. I think I would put Mace Windu at an A tier. 
I think he gets too Ooh, much hate. Where were you going to put him? F. F? I hate Mace Windu. I can't stand him. What, um, about, what about it? I just think he's stern. Like, like yeah, I, I, I think he's. I think he's too. I think honestly, he's too much of a hard ass. I think he. I guess he he can be a hard ass. And, at times, and like, but honestly, yeah. Honestly, um, I don't think he's that. Re- and people say he's like responsible for Anakin's fall to the Rex. I honestly don't think he is. I don't think he's fully he's responsible. I think there, he did some stuff that definitely Im- improved the quality of that happening. Yeah. Um, I honestly not, not the qual- quality, the um, chance. Yeah. Um. I guess we compromise. Let's go B. C-tier. Let's go B. Okay, yeah, B tier. I'm very happy. Yeah. With, I'm very happy getting B tier knowing you would have put him in F tier. I'm very happy with yeah. that. Yeah. Next, we have another Force Unleashed character, um, Maris Brood. Um, in Legend, Shaq T survived Order 66, and she hid on the planet of Felucia, where she trained Maris Brood in the Force. Um, uh, and years later, Star Killer came to Felucia to find. Uh, Shock T, she he killed her is a nice way of putting it. She basically just sacrificed herself. Um, uh, and Brood, um, because T was keeping the balance of the planet and the light, um, fell under the sway of the dark energies of the planet and turned to the dark side. But then Star Killer killed her too. Um, I wasn't again p- particularly in love with her character. I'd be fine just putting her at C tier. Yeah, okay, that that seems fine to me, yeah. We got the meme lord himself, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Ooh, yeah, automatic S tier. Automatic S tier. Like even beyond beyond like I feel like I feel like Obi-Wan is a character that kinda gets lionized quite a bit. But even beyond that, like, he's so awesome. Yeah, and people say like name like yeah. name of character who's gone more pain through him. I wait yeah. and things like that. But like honestly, he is a really interesting character and I love I love all of his appearances from the. And even about the fan hype, the it says something that of like the fans got basically the fans basically got him a show based on like his popularity. Yeah, I know that's the, like that's something that I will always wonder about, and I think we may never know is how much did the fan love and the the online love. How big of a role did that play in Lucasfilm and Disney deciding to? Uh, deciding to make the Kenobi show happen. I will also say that of the all of the shows that have been announced on Disney Plus, Kenobi is still the one I'm most looking forward to. It's a one it's a one season special, right? Yeah, it's a limited series. Oppo Francis. Is it the snake with a beard that can hold a lightsaber? Yeah. Mm. He never really does anything. I'm I think he's D cool, tier. Right? He, yeah, D. He's cool. He doesn't do anything, but he's cool. So yeah, D tier. <laughs> Next we have the main villain of the franchise. Now you will experience the full power of the S tier. <laughs> I I honestly would put him in a B or A tier, but Palpatine. I know, I know you're shocked. I know. Just hear me out. Hear me out. He's about, Palpatine. I, well. I know. I know. I know. He's very. He's very good. But the one thing that I don't like is that he never really has a good motivation it feels like he's always just oh i'm so evil and spooky Ooh, that's the point of his really character know. yeah that is okay that is true i feel like maybe it wasn't maybe it was he doesn't need a motivation palpatine is pure soullessness yeah i would have yeah okay yeah S, yeah s tier is fine i think like he is he is he's palpatine. But I, would, he I would like S-tier. to see more why he's evil on the other hand I think there is a counter argument to be made that in this in this day and age, like there there are so many like oh the villain is actually a good point. It is almost kind of refreshing when you get to see something where it's just oh this this person's just evil for the sake of being evil. They're obsessed yeah, with with inflicting pain on others. He's freaking Palpatine. If it's done he right, can do if it's anything right. he wants, as far as I'm concerned. Um, yeah. Next one, Plo Koon. I think the guy deserves A tier. Mm, yeah, honestly. I feel like the way in which he treats his clones is commendable. Yeah. He has a rapport with Ahsoka. Yeah. I think he He's is cool the too. best. He can, he can I'm, I, I will make the argument for you right now. It's not Darth Maul. It's not anybody else. I think Plo Koon has the best argument for best comeback in a, t- in a Star Wars TV show. Ooh, interesting. 
Does nothing, Blank. says nothing in the prequel trilogy. Major character and influence in the Clone Wars. Where is he? Uh, by the way, what what is he in besides the uh, the malevolence arc and maybe some Ahsoka stuff? I think he's in the Citadel. Maybe. Oh, he was in the he was in the bounty hunter thing with Ahsoka, lethal trackdown. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, yeah, I'll I'll give him a tier. Also, he's yeah. very cool. Next, we have cool factor, the role. guy whose focus determines his reality, Jedi Master Qui Gon Jinn. Qui Gon Jinn. Now, what are your instincts? Where are your automatic S tier? Okay, yeah, I'll see that. I I personally I think he's more of an A tier, but yeah, S tier is fine. I think he is. He is yeah. very. It is very interesting how his approach kind of is so unorthodox. Yeah, I think. But the I fact think... that his approach is unorthodox tells us a great deal about yeah. the Jedi and what they're He was what a Jedi are. was supposed to be. Let's just let let's just Oh that's an interesting yeah. yeah. I suppose so. I suppose so. Next uh it's another Force Unleashed character in here. Um is a guy named you probably heard his name, Jedi General Rom Koda. Um he was another Jedi in in the Force Unleashed who survived Order sixty six. I know another one. Um, but he had a valid reason. He didn't trust the clones, so he just had his own army. Um, that happened. Uh, he was the most interesting of all the Force Unleashed characters, in my opinion. I think because of that, he warrants being in the B tier. Okay, okay. Uh, I, 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 I can see it, yeah. I okay, the next one. Ooh. Say her name Rey. loud. Say it proud. Ray Skywalker, goddammit. She should have kept the name Palpatine. That's my hot take. She should have. She should have called herself Ray Palpatine. That's I'm not even going to start this discussion over again because you know it seems <laughs> I don't think like we've ever had this discussion before. Have we? You know my stance on it. But anyway, yeah, um, I do know your stance on it. I know you're going to say S too, right? This is the one beyond Kylo. I was going to fight for Kylo and Ray till the end. I really want her in S tier. Mm. I was going to say C tier, so. I think we should compromise and say A tier. Does that sound good for you? Yeah, okay. Not that I don't dislike Ray. She just seems a little bit uh, one dimensional at times. If you the were A tier is still good. You're still up there. If it was my list, you would have been an S tier, Ray. <laughs> I'm just saying this. Ray, like, if it was Eli's list, she would have been an S tier Skywalker. <laughs> oh, absolutely. No, she is, again, she is my. I, I think I've made my ranking of like my 10 favorite Star Wars characters. She is number five on that list. There are only four characters who beat her in. What? Yeah. So, I'm yeah. a huge Rick man. Okay. Um, next one. We got my boy, Cal Kestis. So, does Cal Kestis make any appearances besides... No. Jedi Fallen Order was his Jedi first and only Fallen. appearance so far. But he's getting a sequel, so he's important. He is important, yeah. Personally, I think he's a little bit overrated. I'm not saying he's unlikable or bad. I just don't quite get. Careful, we're having the, the biggest Cal Kestis fan on our stream tomorrow. <laughs> okay, I'm being civil though. I can I can say what I want. I'm being nice about it. Maybe I mean to be fair, I haven't actually played through the full game. I've just watched you play a lot of it, so maybe there's some things I don't get. I replayed Personally, it recently, and I love um I love Cal's character. I I freaking love his character. Where were what, you gonna? What do you play love him? about him though? Tell me. Tell me. I want, he I is know. he I is a very Ahsoka esque growth and a Luke esque growth. He's he has that very Luke Ahsoka Ray Anakin esque archetype, and they do it so well, reliving his trauma through his master's death and becoming a greater person because he knows that his master would want him to live on and be greater than he could have been. You know what I mean? Um, so I you're love saying it. that he's like Luke or Ahsoka in the way that you're really taken along for the ride. Absolutely, or Anakin story. or Ray, really. Like you know, he, yeah, okay, it's yeah, it's, I see that. it's a hero's journey story. Um, I where were you gonna put him? I was gonna say C tier, just neutral, because I don't know anything okay. about him. But if you want to put him in B or A tier, I'm fine. I was gonna go A tier. I think we should put him in A or B. I'm let's go B. I mean, no, you made a really convincing case for him, and you are like definitely. The the authority, so I I will I will give you this one. Yeah, let, say, let's do the let's do go yeah, let's go a ham, tier for go crazy, a, go stupid. A, 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 a tier, tier for Kestis. Um, Saisi Teen. Mm. 
Teen got a little more backstory in the Clone Wars, but like not really that much. I think he should go C or D, probably D. Okay, that's fair. Shock T. She got a lot more. She was also Kuhn and T both got a lot of backstory in the Clone Wars, and I really like T's character. I think she should go A or B. Yeah, I think she's a very interesting character. I would maybe put her in B tier. Yeah, let's go B tier. Quite as as interesting. The next one, Jacob. I have a question for you. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever heard the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? <laughs> I thought not. It's not the story the Jedi would tell you. It's a Sith legend. Darth Plagueis was a dark lord of the Sith, so powerful and so wise, he could use the Force to influence the midichlorians to create evil head turn life. How did no one figure out he was the Sith Lord for so long? <laughs> anyway, so let's let's play so Darth Plagueis the Wise in here. Yeah. Um, I love his character and that book by James Lucino, which is now Legends, Sad Sad Face, but like it's still like so good. Like you gifted that book to me. I love that book, yeah. I, that book is the best Legends book of all time. I wow. said oh, it. Oh, that is high praise. That is high praise. That is that of the ones I've read, it's the best. It's yeah. really good. And I'm I think going he's a to very interesting. He's, he's a, a really he's a cool character. He's a really interesting character with a really interesting lesson. B or A for me. I want to go A. Okay, yeah, let's go A. I think his uh, his his dedication and over the way his his dedication to uh, trying to use metaclorians to create life. Um, I think it's interesting because you know, it 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 becomes his downfall, and is a, it, like it, it's what makes him different and what enables him to kind of rise up and become the Sith master. But yeah. then it also is his downfall. Yeah, absolutely. And then it's Palpatine's... I don't know if it's exactly Palpatine's downfall, but it's so interesting how Palpatine kind of, in a sense, um, in his in his uh, monologue about the tragedy of Darth Plagueis, so it kind of disparages Darth Plagueis' work with Metaclorians and kind of makes it seem as if he, he thinks that it's foolish. But then it becomes Palpatine's obsession, too. So I think yeah. it, it's, it, it shows how the, the quest for immortal life and this is reflected in all sorts of other mythologies and all sorts of other yeah. great stories, not just Star Wars, can like end up corrupt. It is it's corrupting basically? And we see Palpatine. Of course, you got to know I connected to this. We see Palpatine on the rise of Skywalker, the shell of a man. Um, yeah. You know, there was going to be a line that was in the rise of Skywalker, but then was cut when Ian McDermott would say that Palpatine was more than a clone, but less than a man. You know, he did what Plagueis did before him, and look where it's led him. Yeah. Um okay, next character. Star Killer. Automatic F tier. I don't I'm taking no further arguments at this time. I hate this guy. He's going automatic F tier. <laughs> okay, fine. I I don't really know about him, so you know what? Next Stasali. Or as I know her, Adi Galia discount. Mm, yeah, I think Stasali when does she does she show up in the corners? No, I don't think she does. We see her crash and die on that speeder bike on Seleucami in Revenge of the Sith, and I think that's it for her. D tier? Uh, yeah, D tier. Next, we have the person when uh, that when Ahsoka mentioned Yoda in Chapter 13, The Jedi, all the hardcore fans looked around and said, Wait, you forgot? And it's Yaddle. She doesn't do much in canon. She does a little bit more in Legends. I think we should put her in D tier. Yeah, okay, D tier. I think she's interesting. I think we, I wish we. Could have I seen I, more I think the same can be her. said for Master Yariel Poof, which yeah. is the exact same. He has the exact same story as um as Yaddle. He does way more in Legends than he does in canon. Yeah, and then, and finally, finally Yoda, S tier. <laughs> I'm accepting no less than S tier. My favorite Star Wars character is going in S tier, let me tell you. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a Yoda fan. I'm a, I'm a Yoda huge fan. Yoda fan. We're 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 putting this Yoda got. And that is our list, by the way. That was that took longer than I expected it to. Uh it's one of our longest tier lists, so I think the other ones will take not as long. But um you can find all of these tier lists, by the way, um on the In a Galaxy account if you look for our account. You can find our tier lists and... Um, a Twitter account, you mean, right? 
uh, it's connected through our Twitter account, but it's like okay. a separate account thing. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? We'll po- um, we'll post them on Twitter. We'll post them on Twitter. Um, okay, we Jacob. Having, we ended up having the most characters by far in S tier, which is which is surprising to me, but maybe that's probably actually, my no, it's influence. Not honestly, that's probably I don't think my influence. There's a lot to love in that tier list. Um, yeah, villains. Yeah, this is a big one. This is a big. It's one. the biggest one of all of them. It took us a long time to do that one but let's go ahead share screen let's see this so these are villains we're talking mm. about um not just our sith but our actual villains i think we should keep things consistent so like for example ventress Something is interest. was a in the last list i think she should be a in this list honestly though i think the fact that it we're in different company could yeah, make a difference actually, like ventress becomes one of the most in my opinion like a really interesting villain and i don't even know if you can call her a villain she seems more like an anti-hero at the end she ends up collaborating yeah. with ahsoka but if you want to put her in a tier i'm fine with that but i would personally probably argue for s tier a tier okay a tier first... aura sing aura sing mm. at some point she comes off as really threatening at some point she's just kind of childish honestly yeah i feel um, like she's one character where she's very very threatening but we we and she's very scary, but we don't really. But then Beckett pushes her and she dies. Really? Yep. Beckett, wait. When does she die? How does she die? It's mentioned in Solo. Wow. You killed Aura Singh. <laughs> I pushed her. It was the fall that killed her. <laughs> I pushed. Right, that's pretty great. But in a way, that seems like a fitting ending for. She is a very threatening character, but she also seems a bit. I'm not sure how to explain this. It seems like she doesn't quite ever back up her reputation. Yeah. You never really see her do. She's like Krennic. I go back and so forth on her and Krennic a lot. I go back and forth on because half the time I think Krennic's really, really a really dimensional good villain. And half the time I'm like, that weak ass guy doesn't know how to do anything. Um, but yeah, Krennic I think we should go too much. <laughs> yeah. Um, I feel like B, B tier maybe. B. Yeah, I was gonna go with B. Darth, Darth Bane. Bane. I mean, S tier. Go. S tier. <laughs> yeah. There's. Yeah. The next one I'm very We're interested to discuss. Barris. Barris Offy. I think. I mean, I'd say like, I if we're ranking the twist alone, I'd say A tier. But like, ranking the actual character and what she does is a little more complicated. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think that. Do we include? everything this character does or up until the point that they turn good or after the point that they turn bad or turn into a villain or an antagonist i think we should regard the things they do when when they're an an antagonist you know what i mean okay yeah i mean if that's the case then i would say probably a b tier because while it is shocking yeah and it is quite a twist that it's barris and that kind of really drives home the emotional shock of the uh, the uh, to catch a Jedi arc, I think that overall we could have we could have gone quite a bit deeper. Yeah, I think that would have yeah. benefited B that Barisa. Arc, Barisa. in terms Barisa of what B. was her motivation, because it did seem a bit uh, like although it was an interesting take, it felt a bit boilerplate. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like Tobias Beckett. Here's my Beckett. case. Here's my case. Okay. Okay. Here's my here's my case for Beckett. This is gonna shock you, but I'm gonna explain this. I'm going before I say this. I, I'm gonna say that I don't think Beckett's a bad character. That being said, I'm going to say F tier. Here's why. Ooh, interesting. Why? I yeah. can't tell you if Beckett was a villain in Solo or not. Well, I don't think he was a villain. I think I don't think he was a villain. Honestly, it, it seems wrong to categorize him some. Yeah. It seems as though he was honestly. He was he was a he was a quote unquote good guy for most of the movie until he tried to kill Han. Yeah, so I think but that like kind of shows how cut and like he is. betrayed Han, or did he, or did he know all along, or did Han tell him? What did Han tell him? How much of that was acting? I've seen Solo since a couple times, and I still can't really tell you how much of that was acting. Um, that's why I'm arguing for a lower tier. It's not because he's a bad character; it's because he's a bad villain. Simply by the fact that we don't know if he's a villain or not. Yeah, I would put him... Then where would you put him? 
F. I put okay. him in F. F here. Delano Longa? Some C tier, you know. We don't really see him do that. I much. was gonna go with D just because of how much of a punk he is in um the Book of Boba Fett teaser. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay, D that's fine. I'm fine with D tier, yeah. yeah. Boba Fett. Boba S-tier. Fett here. Pre- I don't I, think I, actually here's the thing. Pre Mandalorian season two, I would have put him in F tier. I don't think he's quite strong enough to put it S tier in my opinion. I think we should put him in A tier. Okay. I would really argue for S tier just because we get to see him in we see him as the silent bounty hunter of the I think, original trilogy. And then I we think see him after, as a little kid, and then we see him as this like grizzled old man who's like looking on the hunt for revenge and clobbering people with gaffy sticks. I think post season one of book, I think you can make the argument for S, I think probably. Okay, fine. A tier is. We haven't really seen enough of him in my opinion. Okay. Yeah, that, you know yeah. what time it is, Jacob? Boss time. It's time to hunt. <laughs> Bosk is an interesting one for me. I I like. I pride him. myself most on my Bosk impression, so I had to do it. So he's cool, but I feel I like love him. he doesn't get expanded on that much. So it's hard to put. I put him there. in like B or A myself, but it's interesting how he ends up becoming sort of a very very toxic, mean spirited mentor father figure to Boba Fett. You know, I think we should put him in B. I honestly think C tier. I think he, we just B is me him. compromising. I feel like. Oh, you want to? Oh, you want him higher? I I love Bosk. I think oh, okay, we get too, so yeah. much more of Bosk. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cad <laughs> Bane. Cad Bane at your service. Uh, take on any job. Look for the right press. I hate Cad Bane with a burning passion. Me too. But the fact that I do shows what a good job they did, kind of in the Clone Wars. I find him, him incredibly nemesis. annoying. I think Jacob hates him like you're supposed to hate a villain. I just find him annoying. I gotta um, say, he's gotta be S or A tier for me, just because he's the one person, yeah. the one of the few people who can consistently oh. outsmart the Jedi. Who's I, I'll compromise with A. If it were my list, I'd put him probably B or C, because he annoys me, but like, yeah. Rush Clovis. We haven't watched Clo- Rush Rise of Clovis yet, and it's been a long time since I've watched that arc. But I would say C or D tier. Because although yeah. he fascinates me, I'm not exactly sure of how much of a villain he really is. I think he's a villain, but I think it's interesting to show he's a villain that I think it, 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 he's kind of a paradox to me because he's simultaneously very boorish and, and unlikable, but he also is, is very pitiable. And even though he kind of is a power-hungry villain, he, do, he like really, really believes in what he's doing. Yeah. Like, not not in the same way that like not in the same way that maybe like Vader like does Vader does or Grievous but like like he never tries to hurt anybody he no. never tries to nonetheless though I didn't like, just think because we just got a lot of stuff yeah let's I go like B maybe C C? I, C, B C C C I just think it's very interesting I wish we get to see yeah. more of him because like the episodes of the Clone Wars that he's in Leave me feeling like we have an incomplete picture of him as a person. Interesting. Next Cody. one is Commander Cody. I think we should put him in the F tier for the same not a villain reasons as Beckett. Yeah, or like he is a vi- he is a he's villain. not a villain. So the inhibitor chip is the villain. That like yeah, yeah. You're gonna take a dirt nap. Um, I'm rating it's complicated in F tier for that. So yeah. That- or they're just bad. That's the other yeah. thing. F could be they're just like I just we just really hate them. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll just put a note in afterwards. Yeah. Um, Gengar, the man himself. C B. I don't know much about Gengar. I don't have a strong feeling about him. Let's go. Let's go B. I like Gengar. I feel like C. I don't. I don't. Okay. C. B? Okay. C. C. Okay. C. Yeah. Okay. That works. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. B. I think he's interesting. Okay. B. Um. He must smell bad. <laughs> he's always. Bundled up tight in white wool. Dooku. Sort of. We got Ooh, Dooku okay. again. I think I think we both can both agree. S tier villain, yeah, absolutely. Automatic S tier. Doctor New. Yeah, 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 I'll give I feel him like D. He has a re- his redeeming quality is that he is very, he is kind of thought provoking and he has some potential, but he is just so 
He's just so overdone. Yeah, it's so he's so ridiculous. He's I trying freaking... too hard to be a mad scientist. He ends up just like laughing really hysterically for no reason all the time. Yeah, yeah. Well, we got to get a move on because we got a lot yeah, of. We got to get a move on. Dryden Voss, um, honestly, C or D tier. I wasn't really a fan of him. I like him. Let's go C. Okay, C tier. Eighth brother. F tier. We don't. They don't do anything. D or F. Yeah. They die. They go out like a. Dies punk. like a punk. We don't, we don't even see their face. We don't like. Yeah. Yeah. Embo. His. His. Um, his, his Embo. Uh, Embo. I would argue as high as A or B. Really? For Embo. Okay. Interesting. I love Wait, Embo. Explain. I freaking love Embo. Yeah. I, he, he's the in. guy with the cool hat. He uses his hat as like sixty different weapons. Yeah, I'll put a B tier. You know, I I I get yeah. that. Yeah. Like Ninja. Hmm. Fifth brother, C tier. Oh, I put him lower. Okay, D tier, yeah. I yeah, think the D-tier. seventh sister was by far the mo- more the most intimidating and more of the three. Of the two. Yeah. Or of the three. She is we on got the show, so we'll get her. Our boy, we got the young version of him. Who is, wait, that is, um. I'm, I'm Gar Saxon. Gar Saxon. Interesting character. Again, not very likable. C? Pretty, uh, pretty compelling. Yeah, C tier. I put some along the likes of, yeah, I get that. The next one, I don't know the name of him. He probably starts with a G, but he's one of the Trandoshan hunters from the Wookiee Hunt arc, which is an, which is one of the arcs I've seen the least of in the Clone Wars. So I'm comfortable putting that as an F, honestly. I'm like, yeah. You just didn't. I don't remember that arc that much. Yeah. Like I really don't remember it. Ooh, the Grand I am Inquisitor. the Inquisitor. Welcome. Like, especially that we know that the Grand Inquisitor, when he shows up again in season two, and and is the person to knight. Kane and Jarrus, I feel like he's, he has to be he's C or above. One of the most compelling villains of Rebels, and that's saying something. Yeah. Um, I feel like he could B? be a B. Yeah, he could be a B. Like it's interesting. He's kind of. Yeah. He's very sophisticated and genteel compared to yeah. a lot of people. And villains. he was a genuine threat to Kane and, and was Ezra, a, yeah. which was something I really don't think I could say about any of the Inquisitors from season two. And he wasn't. He wasn't infallible either. He was just a good villain for the. He was a for, good villain. He was a solid. He was a good villain. villain for a show at the time. He just did yeah. what he needed to do, and it worked. Unak, Unagunta Solo, or as his most famous line goes, say it with me, everyone. McClunky. <laughs> we got the return of McClunky. I would go Greedo D F. I'm in a D tier. I think he has some redeeming yeah. quality. I like him in Sphere of Influence. I like him in Sphere of Influence. That episode slaps. I think his com- his combination of uh, bad luck and incompetence combined with yeah. his the person the kind of very personal backstory that we get for him at a certain point in a in in a couple of the books just just makes him more pitiable than anything else. Like, yeah, you just feel bad for the guy, you know. Yeah, General Grievous. <laughs> I think we should put him like A S. I feel like S. A tier. S tier, really? Oh. I feel like a, yeah, one... let's go A. I'll compromise, let's go A. I feel like A because he's awesome, but I feel like we don't really get to see him yeah. Yeah. really be a threat that much, yeah. aside from the Tartakovsky corners. My friends! My friends! S tier. Hondo or not? Uh, I don't think S tier. Please, please. A tier. Okay, fine, A tier. If we're putting Grievous in A tier, we're putting Hondo in A tier. What, you you like you like Grievous better than Hondo? <laughs> I said it. Okay, fine. Agree to disagree. I love Hondo though, man. He's so yeah. The way he's yeah. so jaunty and and just sure of himself and cocky, but then he's also very clever. But and he's 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 brave too. Like he goes toe to toe with Anakin Skywalker while wielding an Electro staff. I think yeah, sucks, man. Yeah, hugs. Mm. Phone in for hugs. General Hugs. I have an urgent message for General Hux about his mother. Um, uh, I probably didn't help my case with Hux for you right there. <laughs> you didn't. No, you didn't. I mean, to be uh, fair, that wasn't really Hux's fault. Like that. B. Man. I'm gonna go with B. I like Hux, but I can't put him any higher than B. I think we should com- I, maybe we compromise C tier. Oh, you said D before, not B. I said D, yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you said B for a second. I'm like, oh yeah, that sounds good. Uh, yeah, let's go C. I I don't know. You, yeah. I feel like there's not. I get it. I get it. I hate I the spy it. twist, though. It, it it feels so. 
it feels almost as if it's breaking the I, fourth wall even though I, it's I, I like here's the thing i like it i think i would have liked it a lot better if they hadn't done it with callus two two years earlier with rebels Callus did it and Callus did it better i'm gonna be honest like way there was he did i'm not gonna lie slow about change that of heart yeah no i like that i i mean yeah. i like the whole i like i want to see kylo ren lose i think that was very interesting but like yeah i think Callus did it better ig88 um, but but Callus had more time too you know what i mean yeah Callus did have more time that's true um, ig88 maybe i mean b or c I think he has, he has his merits. You know, it's actually pretty. The, it's pretty fast. Because what does he actually he, do? Nothing. But I think that's that's what makes yeah. it interesting is the way he just has this vivid, yeah. super vivid internal monologue about I, taking over the galaxy and ridding the galaxy yeah. of the organic. I think I think filth. I think we should do D. I think we I should think do D. B. Can we compromise and say C? I feel strongly. Oh, C. Point. Yeah, C. C. Okay, C. Jabba the. One of Chuba Solo. I don't even know if that's Jabba that said that. I don't know. But anyway. Why do you think of Jabba the Hutt? I don't know about Jabba the Hutt. A. A tier? Just for the intimidatingness alone, A tier. Yeah. I really, this makes me, I really wish they hadn't put Jabba in episode four in the special editions. Because I feel yeah, like it, it just that ruins. That was wasted. Yeah. It ruins the surprise of him being in episode six. And like, yeah, you know. I like, agree. Literally. 1977 he starts getting references and then 1980 we have to wait six years in him, the like, future the, yeah the suspense is building up of like it's java like everyone owes money to java everyone's terrified and of it's java. just a slug and it's this giant slug Ooh, yeah django okay we gotta get moving anyway okay, we gotta get moving. Um, django fat what do you think of django fat? i put him in s tier but i know that's never gonna stand with you i'll go for a tier though you know, yeah, okay yeah sure that's good compromise i think he's good um good. Is this Kalani the super? It's Kalani. Good? Kalani is an interesting one. I, I really like him. I I last battle made me like him even more. Um, yeah, I go with B tier for Kalani. Okay, yeah, B tier. I'm, I'm happy with that. Agent Callus. Mm, A tier. A tier. I think yeah. He uh, even before the twist, I just I just like yeah. him. Like he's a he's Cassius a Constantine. Cassius Constantine. He's not very likable, but I think that's C tier, D tier. How is it T tier? But yeah, D tier, I guess. I think he's D tier. He's a character of. Yeah. He's like the perfect caricature of like yeah. everything that's of, makes of the, the imperial, imperial officer. Downfall. Like that everything. Yeah. yeah, you see, he's arrogant. I agree. He's he's petty. Yeah. He's infighting. He throws his subordinates under yeah. the bus when he messes up. Yeah. But he never really does anything beyond that. We stand here amidst my character. Not yours. <laughs> uh, we right. got Krennic right now. Um, C B C. I feel like, yeah, a C tier, maybe even B tier. Honestly, just looking at the characters yeah. that we have. In C, C tier, tier, high C tier. Oh, yeah, we'll make C a note tier. in our head. It's high C tier for Krennic. Yeah, C tier. I, I. Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren. Uh, oh, this one's gonna be hard. I honestly think that is uh, he ranks lower among the villains than among the Force users for me. Oh, uh, I think he ranks higher. Yeah, interesting. Um, B tier compromise. Yeah, com yeah, B tier. That's a that's a good compromise. I think he Lando Calrissian F tier go. He's not a. I don't think we even in the category of not a villain. Not a villain. I think we need a category for not a villain because. We have two characters okay. now who are villains and two who are not villains. I'm just gonna. Okay, so we're gonna add a row quick. of not a villain. Put Beckett there. Yeah. yeah okay. Put Beckett. Beckett there Cody, and Cody, and then now Lando. And Lando. A la um, of all three of those, Lando is a villain the least, I think. Uh, yes, absolutely. And although, um, to be maybe, fair, he maybe did Cody. To betray yeah, maybe, maybe Cody. Cody. Maybe code, but like Lando is a good guy. Darth Maul. Ooh, this is gonna be G compromise, C tier, B tier. I actually like Maul as a like. No, I don't like Maul, but I think he's he's more interesting as a villain than as a force in as a force user because of his whole grand plan for Phantom Apprentice thing and all the stuff with Crimson Dawn. Yeah, I go with B tier for him. Okay, that yeah, I'm I'm happy with B tier. If we're going for B tier for Kylo Ren, Maul's not getting any higher than B tier. Yeah. Um. We obviously Mirage Sintel. She's interesting, honestly. Like I like she, her. She's kind of like 
she honestly like it maybe is even a commentary on modern politics so she wants to like go back in time pretty much yeah i i think um i think sintel should be like c tier honestly yeah, i see that she's she's cool i think i like the way next she, and i i really like oh, honestly, okay. the way she wields power without yeah. using force like and yeah. why it will still like she she's very like passive and doesn't really do much herself but she clearly works very hard behind the scenes to maintain her position yeah. and she's very savvy okay next Moralo evil has Moralo. spoken he's I don't know. He feels like a bit of a tryhard. I don't know how to explain it. C D. I I think D. We don't really see. Yeah, D, that D much. for Evol. Then we have the Kaminoans, who were not really villains. That one of the Kaminoans, who's though, not but, really I think they a are villains. Like they, but they she know wasn't about like sixty six. Yeah. Okay. D tier at best yeah. because like Nala say, really yeah. What do we have here? That is the ninth sister. How do you feel about the ninth sister? She was the worst inquis inquisitor in Fallen Order, which doesn't say much because there are only two of them. Uh, the eighth brother or better? What? Worse or better than the eighth brother? <laughs> better than the eighth brother the because at okay, least then. she puts up a fight. Yeah. Um, eighth brother does nothing. Ninth sister, I'm going to go with C tier. C tier, okay. There wasn't anything incredibly remarkable about her. You'd put them above the people in D tier? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Newt Gunray. See, as a character, I'd put him in F tier, but as a villain, I'd put him in like B tier. Yeah, interesting, and we, we it's interesting how he ends up becoming like a scapegoat for the Trade Federation. Where yeah. They're like, no, we don't. The, there are so many Gunray. times I'm doing my Clone Wars rewatch right now, separate from the Galaxy for reasons. There are so many times they're like, Newt Gunray is not a part of us. I swear to God, Newt Gunray is not a part of us. I swear to freaking God. Oh, yeah, yeah. we have the corrupt Navoidians over here. They might have been, like, uh, compromised by Newt Gunray, but I swear he's not a part of us. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah. Next, we got the master of the Citadel himself, Osi Sobek. Osi Sobek is interesting, but he feels, he just feels like a, He's a Clone Wars character caricature villain. That's really what it is. He feels just like I think another Moralo of all, honestly. Yeah, D that's what he does. We or Nuvo Vindi, you know. No, not not Nuvo Vindi, but him and Moralo of all are very similar. They're both very reptilian. They're both kind of. I think they might even be the same species. Actually, I think they're a different variant of the same species. I, w I would totally be unsurprised if that were the case. Palpatine. S tier, S -tier. go. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Phasma. I would put Phasma in a D or an F tier. On yeah, it, so D tier. She, she just didn't. She fight. She has a cool fight with Finn in the Last Jedi. Yeah. Are you sure I can't put her F? Okay, D, D, tier. D tier. D tier. She just doesn't. I've heard her book is pretty good adventure. too, and I think McDowell will hunt us down if we yeah, put her in F tier. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I forgot there's a, a lot of there are a lot of books about her now, but even I even read some comics that were kind of mm. about her, and she didn't. Yeah. It they they didn't really do a lot for her, so. Okay. I don't know if I can um, put her any higher. Admiral. Piet, I think, should be at uh, B tier. B tier? Okay. Competent Imperial Officer. We don't get a lot of those. Um, yeah. But I think he's competent. He's very. He's still like super arrogant and ends up dying because of his arrogance. I think the only way he's competent is as a back. Yes, but like, you know. Yeah. Okay. I, okay. I still think she should be at B tier. Yeah. Okay, I concur. I concur. Poggle the Lesser. Poggle the Lesser. C tier? I would put him B almost, even. He's. Okay, B tier. Do Fine. we ever find out also how he gets rescued? Because he gets captured by um, I by Anakin don't Skywalker, know. and then he I gets no away. Idea. Right? He does get away, I think. Okay, yeah. wait, B or C tier? Which what are we saying? B tier. Okay, B tier. I'll let you have it. Um, um, the most now as a character, character he's an F tier. Internet. Now as a character, I'd put him in F tier, but as a villain, I'd put him in like A tier. A tier, really? Okay. I'm torn because maybe B tier. Actually, B tier. Let's do B tier for Krell. Very compelling yeah. villain. I think he kind of embodies um, the him. way a lot of the Jedi see the clones, but taken to the extreme, yeah. where a lot of the Jedi don't really value the clones. They don't see them as individuals. He just like flat out hates them for it. Yeah, he's like, I will not be outsmarted by some abomination grown in a lab. Yeah. 
For generations, my ancestors fought proudly as warriors against the Jedi. Now this woman tarnishes the very name Mandalorian. Pre Vizsla. Now, I think if we're talking about impact on Star Wars, this guy should be on S tier because of Favreau yeah. and his impact on Star Wars. He just As an actual villain, I think he should be in B tier. B tier? Yeah. I, I would put him almost in A tier. I think he's he has a lot B to tier. Say. I don't I don't think I can put him in A tier. Wait, you put him in A tier. Oh, sorry. Okay, yeah, B tier. I think we should readjust some of these characters then because I think B tier is getting a little congested. And I think a lot of the math, they don't really match up. Like, I think Barris and Aura Singh and maybe um, Dengar. I, I think I think, I think think maybe Barris should go up to A. Up? Oh. I was going to put her oh, in C Oh, yeah. Oh, I was going to say. No, she's good in B tier, actually. You're right. Actually, we're, we're, yeah. She's good in I B think, tier. Um, I think Aura, if anyone, should go down to C tier. Yeah, I'm fine with that. She doesn't she doesn't do a great job. Um, but she's very menacing, yeah. though. Mm, yeah. That's a tough No, point. no, no. I think, I think she should be in C yeah, tier. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Um, because I find Krennic more menacing than Aura, but... Um, really? Okay. Yeah. Um, if anyone should move up from B, by the way, I think Kylo Ren should be a good move up to A from B. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> I know you'd never do that. Um, General, I love General Price, or Governor uh, Price. Governor Price? I think she's Governor A-tier. Price. Really? Yeah, I was going to put think... her in B, but okay. Mm. A-tier. Okay, hear yeah. me out, hear me out. She is very yeah. competent, but... Her arrogance and her ambition still blinds her, so she's not infallible. Yeah. I th- yeah. Thrawn book included, I'd think A, yeah. Yeah. That's that the biggest a, that's convincer. Point. Of a. Like, that's the yeah. way the Thrawn book makes her, the yeah. Thrawn trilogy, like she and Thrawn actually. Rebels only, that. she'd be a B character at best. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we gotta, we gotta continue. Kira. This. Is she really a villain? Yeah, I was gonna put her in the not really a villain tier, it's complicated sort of thing. Because we really don't know at this point. Yeah. Like yeah. five years in the future when we finally get that solo two, however that's accomplished, we might see. But like you know, Goldie. Goldie, F tier, go. F tier. You really, you really think so? Yeah. Gone. See ya. I'm taking no further arguments at this time. Rift um, Hampson. I love that arc. But Rift Hampson's just super. Rift's not the reason now. why. I feel like they included Rift Hampson because they wanted a shark person for the sake of being able to make having a shark, a shark person like. They wanted to be able to be like, oh, there's a shark person in our show now. Ooh, everybody look at us. C-tier. Really? Like, C-tier, just because of how good that arc is. But that, it doesn't really reflect well on him or, or do a yeah. lot with him. C- C-tier for the arc, please. Okay, yeah, I, okay. I, I, I concede. Rook. Rook. He's Legends Rook, I would say. Legends um, Rook is S-tier, but I think B-tier. I would say, yeah, B tier. Because, like, he kind of goes out like yeah. a punk. Like, wait, like, really? He goes out because he got his foot stuck yeah. in wiring and couldn't get it out in time? Yeah. And he got in Legends, out. he kills Thrawn, and according to Thrawn, quote, it was so artistically done. I know, like, that is... Uh, that was such a great twist, by the way. Um, next, be. we have, here's some trivia for you. I'm like, I gotta say, I'm really good with name trivia. King Sanjay Rash. I knew that, too. Let's go. Oh, yay. Um, I'm not sure how to feel about Mr. Rash Again, here. Rash is like uh, uh, is like Tamsin in that way because both of their arcs are superb, but the characters themselves are not great. I would put Rash in C tier. Okay, I can deal with that. We have next Savage Opress. F tier, go. Okay. Okay. I hate I, him. We're gonna have to compromise on this. I would say B. Can we put him in C tier? Because I think he has, I he has guess. merits. Yeah, actually, that's he's to be completely of... honest. Putting Savage in C tier is probably going to be the most painful placing of anyone in that list because I hate him so much. But anyway, go ahead. Okay, then I'll say this: I failed you, brother. Oh, <laughs> uh, that one scene is pretty good, though. I just realized that I'm was not just rubbing salt like you. That that scene, I, I never feel like was. I like that scene. Sabulba. I love that scene, but every any everything else with his character, I hate it. But anyway. Sebulba. That was almost pretty forgettable. Like I, I forgot. D tier. Let's go D. Yeah, honestly, I don't, I don't really, I don't have anything to say about him. D tier. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I accidentally put it in C tier. Seven sister for Sarah Michelle Gellar's voice acting alone. C tier. Yeah, I feel like she had a limited. I feel like her the story character, the story decisions with her, I didn't love. Um, without Sarah Michelle Gellar doing an incredible job uh, as her, she would be in like D. Yeah, I think 
she was just so menacing and so threatening in in a very yeah. unique and un, an unmistakable way so even though yeah. her character arc was and her role in rebels season two was very limited i gotta give it, it i gotta give it to her she's still one of my favorite characters yeah. It's Sarah Michelle Gellar that does her good, yeah. in my opinion. That's that's the entire. Okay, next, next one is Tup, sure which is not, not in the not really a villain. It's complicated. Are you sure that's not slick? It looks like no, that's slick Tup. To me. Oh wait, no, that's slick. You're right. I, knew it, I, knew I thought it. it was Tup because of the unknown arc, yeah. but slick. Let's put a D tier. He's okay. very forgettable. He is honestly pretty forgettable, and his arc raises a lot of a lot of uh, hard questions. hard questions yeah. that the arc doesn't really answer like why is he the only one who defects weren't the clones like genetically modified to be super program loyal? not to do that yeah yeah anyway can the inhibitor chip override defecting or i guess that's too complicated here we go here we go here's no. our most con one of the most controversial ones i think we'll do f tier go that's what i'm gonna say <laughs> we can't put him in f tier i'm not allowed i know we can't put him in f tier but if it was your list you'd put him in f tier yeah i, I would um he, i is... if it was my list i'd put him in Okay, I'm going to say something that I think you might think is kind of crazy. If it was my list, I'd seriously consider putting him in A tier. I, I thought you were going to say S tier, so I'm relieved. No, A not... A tier, I no, can understand. I, he doesn't deserve S tier. I just feel... He deserves... If if I really had to reason with myself, I would put him in, in B tier. Um, yeah. Let's compromise. Let's put him in C tier. C D. I really... I really have a I can't time. put him in D tier. Okay, C tier is gonna be painful to me, but yeah, it's okay. For me though, about just... as painful as Savage Press in C tier is to me. Yeah, that's true. These are the both <laughs> the ones that are painful. It gives me pain yeah. because to me he just goes out like a punk and he just seems like a non factor given that then it turns out that Palpatine was controlling him all along. Goes out like a punk and non factor is exactly how I feel about Savage Press. <laughs> and on it. I guess it's not really ironic, but you know, <laughs> but anyway, that is funny. Mother Ooh, Talzin. Mother Talzin. You know, I'm gonna be completely honest with you right here. I can see some pretty convincing arguments for putting Mother Talzin in S tier. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I would say like A or. If B. you don't feel comfortable with that, we'll put her in A tier. But A -tier. like, yeah, okay, yeah, let's go A tier. I. I love her. I, I'm comfortable. I would have put B tier, but yeah, she's very interesting. I love the way that when she walks around on Dathomir, she. When she talks on Dathomir, it's like you they it's like you hear the voice. They dubbed in a, a really low of Dathomir past talking with yeah, her. Yeah, they know, dubbed in a really low like male menacing voice. I think that is like it feels like multiple voices talking. As yeah, she it's talks, you know? creepy. It, it is awesome though. It is honestly awesome. Tarkin, a tier. Is is a he's Tarkin. He's Tarkin. <laughs> I don't know. I know. The brother, mm. the I, son. I would say, or it's the son, yeah. I would say straight to F tier for me. Oh, I, I wouldn't go to S tier. I would say, here's my argument, okay? Okay. C tier, straight off of, just off of Sam Witwer. Well, Sam Witwer does a good voice acting Just job, because overall, of Sam I Witwer, like I think C tier. Character. I, I, I think, uh, okay, let's go D tier. Yeah, D tier, because for me, you know, I just hate the idea of there being personified force gods. Oh, I love the Mortis arc, though. Okay. We'll have some more talks about that when we get to the Mortis arc. Yep. That won't be for a while, though. Okay, so. let's go. Thrawn. S tier, go. Get him. Get him up to S tier, honestly, where he belongs. Honestly, Thrawn just... I think he really I love breaks. Thrawn in his Legends books. I also love him in canon. That The Thrawn book, I'm going to make the argument that the Thrawn book may be the best non-anthology canon book out there right now. There, I'm just going to say, there is a reason that Thrawn has been a fan favorite character a strong fan favorite character for yep over 20 years at this point it was the first Thrawn admiral book. when did the first Thrawn what? book come out 2017 i think oh i meant the uh the the um oh the, the heir to the, the empire, empire 1991 yeah. so almost 30 years honestly wait yeah 30 years it's 2021 30 years wait, of Thrawn. Is, is the math right on that yep no yeah 2001 to Oh my gosh. Wow. 30 years of Thrawn. Wow, 30 years of Thrawn. Man, someone's Actually, I think make... it might have been 90. I think it might have been 90, but I'm not sure. But anyway. Either way, enduring character. Very glad he got brought into canon in Rebels. He's Thrawn. Yeah. Th that's all we need to say about him. 
If you don't know who Thrawn is, he's Thrawn. Okay, <laughs> next. Admiral Trench. Admiral Trench. C tier at tier. best. I think D tier, but okay. Uh, I'll put him in C tier because I, I like him. Yeah. Um, I think he uh, he is kind of yeah. cool. I like the way he comes back as a cyborg, even though it feels a little bit of that oh coming their coming character coming back yeah. from the dead trope. But honestly, uh, okay, let's I don't let, let's it. keep going on this. Trilla, I don't know much about Trilla Sidori. I'm going to make the argument here. You're going to have to take a lot of my word for this. Because, again, I know you haven't played as much Fallen Order as I have. Prilla deserves A tier. Really? She is Barris done better. Hmm. Okay. A tier. A yeah. tier for Trilla Siduri. All right, let's do a... I don't really know anything about her, but yeah. Fantastic character. A tier. She's got to play Fallen Order at some point. Darth Vader. S tier. Go. I think he is... See ya. The mo a, one of the most iconic villains in cinema. He has trans he has transcended Star Wars and become a pop culture icon. <laughs> you know? Yep. That that's that what We gotta Campbell, turn down, you know why? Turn down for what? Turn down for what? I vote A tier just because of Honestly, yeah, he, he he has a lot of good moments in season seven when we go to Skako. Skiko Minor. Yeah. Of the also, he has the best moments. music in the entire galaxy. He does have the best music in the entire galaxy. Watto. D tier. D tier. A little bit of a stereotype and, and just yeah. kind of... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to say about Watto, but I can't really think of anything good. N last one. Zero, Zero the Hut. hut. Eh. F tier. F tier. F tier. Just kind of obnoxious. I hate him. I hate him. Just a tad. Um, I just got to the episode of my Clone Wars rewatch when he died, and I'm so glad to be rid of him. Okay. Okay. That was a long. That was really long. Oh. And but, I think um, we ended up the uh, the tier with the most characters in it was actually C tier. So this was actually a very balanced list then. Yeah. yeah. We only had five characters in S tier. Five characters in S tier. Four characters in F tier. And then, yeah, this was a very balanced list. Let's do the um let's do um one of mine. This is one of mine I created for um Tier Maker, so you can find this under our account. I made this. Star Wars movie openings. There are only twelve of them, and we're gonna try and rank them. So these are all the opening scenes. Do you go through them chronologically or how do you Um let's just do them as they me. appear. So Oh yeah, let's we'll just yeah. New Hope. This one's iconic. It's gotta be S tier for me. S tier. S tier New Hope. S tier. Like yeah, it's it's New Hope. We enough said. And before anyone else, and before anyone says something about nostalgia goggles, like when I like it's you not can't even not have it with a New Hope. Like I I I I saw it recently, and even when I saw it recently, it was like a goosebumps moment. Just the way oh it, yeah, and the ship is just you think it's gonna end, and it just keeps coming, and it's like wait, it, it, and you keep having to readjust your perspective of how big it actually is. It's such a good moment. It's, it's great. Yeah. Next is Return of the Jedi. Now remind me of what the how the Return of the Jedi opening scene goes. I, I don't I don't recall. So it's right the now. shuttle going to the Death Star and Vader arrives and tells people that the Emperor is coming coming in. And then I'll include also like the R two and three PO walking the Jabba's palace scene. Of course I'm worried, and you should be too, R two. Uh, Lando Calrissian and poor Chewbacca never returned from this awful place. I'm gonna go A tier with this. I think A tier should happen with this. Okay. I uh yeah, I, I don't yeah, I like that actually. I really like the the way it feels like a it feels like a reunion. Phantom Menace. I'm gonna make a weird argument for you right now. Phantom Menace should be in S tier. Really? Uh it is my favorite opening of a Star Wars movie or it's New Hope. It's one of the two. What do you define as the moment when the opening starts for Phantom Menace? Um, the ships approach, the Trade Federation, they board, Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan are taken into the room, uh, but their response, it didn't thrill us. They locked the doors and tried to kill us, so you... and then they escape from, <laughs> and then, and then they escape from the gas. They don't meet Jar Jar and Boss Nass, that's, like, later. Yeah. But, okay. um, everything from, like, everything that happens until they get on to Naboo, I think, should be, That's a like, long time, though. Actually, maybe maybe when they like maybe when they just first bust out of the room. Yeah, I guess this does does um 
kind of call into question how we uh, define opening yeah. scene and but I know, I'll allow but it. Like, I don't think it's yeah, that great, but but I think maybe we can compromise and say A tier. A tier, okay, A-tier. sure. A-tier. Like it's it's up there. It's exciting. It's very suspenseful. A- Attack of the clones. I guess Let I me tell you wrong. something about there this. Was no danger at all. Let me tell you about something. You, you, you can't blame Zam for this, okay? She hit the ship. They used the decoy. What are you gonna do? Yeah. I mean... It also inspired the meme that keeps this podcast going, so, you know. Yeah, um, that's true. I'm gonna go with a very solid B tier for this. Yeah, I can see B tier. That seems good for me. Revenge of the Sith. I think it should be... I think it should be um, a S or A. Revenge of the Sith. No, how does it's Revenge a great of the... opening. I think Revenge of the Sith is S tier. It's such a good opening. Bam, the way it, it's, bum, it's so bum, you get this calm, bum, peaceful bum. planet, and then you you see the two starfighters just you pan yep, down and S-tier. just all hell breaks loose. Yeah. It is so good. Yeah. <laughs> so actually, good. um, before we get on to the other ones, I think we actually uh, it's at the bottom for some reason. We should do Empire right now. Yeah, yeah, we should do Empire right now. So it's hard. Yeah, I would go for B. Yeah, I would. Empire is a good movie. The opening is a little. It's very non-committal for me. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, can I like Hoth. I, yeah. yeah, I could put it in B tier. It's it's not one of the stronger openings, yeah. although it does work for the movie. But in comparison yeah. with the other ones, it it does leave a little something to be desired. The Force Awakens. Awakens. I think this is a pretty good opening. I love it. I think it I'd put in SRA. Where, I'd put in A tier. But I think it just depends on... All compromise, let's do A tier for Force. Yeah, A tier. Last Jedi. Now, remind me again of how the Last Jedi opening scene goes. They escape from Dakar, and they do all that stuff. Mm. And um, If it were me, I, it would be straight to F tier. But I know you're I mean, there's no F tier on this. Oh, yeah. There's it no F tier. There would be the lowest tier, D tier, but, you know... What do you, what do you I would on? go with B or C. I mean, I'm I kind of love the Last Jedi. I'm not in love with the opening. I think we could say C tier. Just I think it's C tier. Kind of balance it out, yeah. Ooh, the Rise of Rise Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker. If it were up to me, you know this would be S tier. I think I the opening of the Rise of Skywalker is magical. I do love the opening. Um, I, I love what they we finally get to see the clothesline kind of cut loose. Yeah. But I don't. And it's I it's don't, on Mustafar, yeah. and then he visits Palpatine on Exegol, and it's horror, and I it's know. like I just don't. I'm not sure if I'm. I'm not sure if I love the way that they use slow motion. It feels a little bit out it's of place. Two for seconds of the movie. movie. I don't know, but for me, when I watch yeah. it, it just really takes me out of it. That being said, I'm I'm open to giving it like an A or a. Yeah, I was gonna go with A tier for Rise of Skywalker. Oh yeah, that, that's that's reasonable. Yeah. Rogue One. I think the, B tier. The Rogue One is best summed up by how it should have ended. Shouldn't we land right on top of him? No, we got to park a hundred. We got to make a dramatic, dramatic entrance. And walk across the field. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of how I feel. Like it, it doesn't really. B C. I'm fine putting it wherever you want. I don't, I don't feel strongly about it. It does a good job of setting the tone for the movie. I though. think it should be C, because I actually think I like The Last Jedi's opening more than Rogue One. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm, I'm fine um, with that. Solo. I'm not a fan of the Solo. I also game. think Solo should be C, actually. Okay. I'm, I'm fine with that. I, I, it, and finally, me, The Clone Wars fun. movie. The, the, the opening for The Clone Wars movie, I can't remember actually how it opens. It's the Battle of um, Christ, it's Christophsis, Christophsis, right? The First Wave. I think it should be D. Okay, yeah, I, that, I'm fine with that, honestly. I'm actually very, very um, proud about how this list came out. I was most worried about this, uh, about Skywalker's opening. I'm glad it landed that A tier. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's do the everything one just to get that one out of the way right now. So, we start with... Should we go clones. The pack of the clones. Only crazy, I would put this in C tier. I know you dislike it, but I would put it in C tier, honestly. I don't think it's the best, but the more I watch it and the more I think about it, the more I like it. Yeah, actually, let's do C tier for that. Yeah. And and the Clone Wars movie is next. I think this should be in D tier. Yeah, 
I would, you know, I'd fight for it to be higher, but yeah, D tier is fine. Yeah. The Clone, Clone Wars, Wars TV, TV show. show. S tier? I'm, I'm I'd feeling, fight for it to be an S tier, yeah. I'm feeling an S tier. Clone Wars, I think A tier or B tier. It's really no, strong. No, B tier. B tier. Hey, yeah, I, I would probably say it, but yeah. Let's Empire? Go I, I would give it an A tier. What would you say? Yeah, I think A tier is... I think it's uh, I think it's pretty yeah. strong. Um, Force Awakens? Force Awakens. I'll probably give that a... A B tier. I have a hard time putting on the same level as, as as uh, as Empire. Let's go. Let's go uh, B tier for it. I guess B tier. Okay. Here's the thing, Jacob. Last Jedi, this is, yeah, this Last is, Jedi yeah. and Rise of Skywalker. Let's do this. Okay. Both are going at C tier. Yeah. Because we both. Because I'd put it at S, put it and you put it at F. F. Yeah. Or S. I, yeah. I, yeah. I'll just put a I'll find Rise of Skywalker. Rise yeah. of Skywalker okay, also compromise. at C because. Because you'd put it super high, super low, and I'd put it super high. Yeah. So, like, I, I average New Hope. Out. How do you feel about the New Hope? I mean, I think we should consider S for this. S tier. Okay. Okay. I, I I love the New Hope. I think it's a it's a great pack. It is my second favorite Star Wars movie. So, I'm fine with that. <laughs> okay, the Phantom Menace. What do you think about the Phantom Menace? I mean, I'd put it B tier, but like, I don't know. I could put it. I don't know. I personally, I think it would. Let's do C tier. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, let's do C tier. If you want to put it in B tier, I'm fine with that. No, let's do C tier. Okay, C tier. Star Wars Rebels. I feel like that could go in A tier, honestly. Oh, I thought you were gonna go S. I mean, if it were up to me, I would put it S. But I didn't know that you. I could be convinced to put it in S. Um, let's do A. Actually, let's do A. I feel like. Even though I feel like even if it were up to me, yeah, I feel like A tier is a better, yeah, a better place for it overall. Return, Return of, the of the Jedi. I'm willing to put this S tier. S S you, definitely. You want? It's not my favorite of the trilogy, but you know, I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah. If you want to put Empire actually at S, you know, I actually don't mind that. Like, it's okay. I, I I'll yeah, it's fine. Uh, we need to. It needs. This needs to be an accurate reflection of yeah. how we both feel about them. Okay. I mean, I like Empire. I like it a lot. It's just like there is a bunch of stuff I like better. I think it's fine in A tier, just just so. It I think reflects. Sith should be B tier. B tier, really? Okay. Yeah. Look at that. All right. And then that, Rogue that, One that and me, but yeah. Solo. Rogue I think One Rogue One should be C tier, but yeah, I'm, I think Rogue One C tier. Like it's 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 not good. Like it's good, but it's not it's not great. And I think Solo opinion. should also be at C tier, actually. Okay. Now. I think we can also add, if I will use the annotate tool to do so, and then take a screenshot. Oh, yeah. I we see what you're going to do. We should add the Resistance, and, or Resistant, and Mandalorian. and Mandalorian. How do you feel about Resistance? I think Resistance should be at least A. Really? Yeah. I'm surprised you would put it that high. I, 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 and frankly, do not feel comfortable putting it in A tier. Like next to Rebels and The Empire Strikes Back, to me. Okay, let's put it in B tier, I guess. But yeah, then. do you think you you feel good about B tier? Should yeah, let's do B tier. Okay, I guess B tier. Where do you want to put Mandalorian? I'd feel comfortable in A tier. A tier, I feel like B tier, but yeah, I mean A tier is fine. Yeah, I, I mean like if it were just season B-tier. one, I'd be like C tier, but like you thought. So you liked season? You thought season two elevated it? Oh, 100%. I think we did talk about this last episode, yeah. Yeah, okay, I, I'll be flexible, yeah. A tier. Okay. So and I think that's everything, right? That's our list. Let's do um, closings. Okay, closing scenes. Closing yeah. time. Are you going to share? So, these are cropped weirdly. They're cropped in squares. Don't ask me. I, I accidentally put that as the option, so I'm sorry about that. New Hope ending. A tier. New Hope ending scene. A tier. I feel like it is a. It is. It's iconic. good. It's good. I think the lack of dialogue does make it in the back of my mind. At least I always watch it. There's always kind of a feeling of this must be really awkward without the music. Jacob, you know the, the time, final it's, scene it's, of every single iconic. Star Wars movie is silent, right? Yes, but I mean, some of them it makes sense. Like, yeah. like, like in the Phantom Menace, like there's music playing, 
yeah. in um, The Empire no, Strikes yeah. Back, they're having a quiet moment in this. They're yeah. in a ceremony. And also Chewbacca doesn't get a medal. I think if Chewbacca got yeah. a medal, I would put it. I would put the New Hope ending in S tier if Chewbacca got a medal. Oh, I don't know. I, I still think it deserves A tier. Nothing yeah. more. Nothing yeah, less. you know, yeah. I, I think it deserves A tier. Next. Empire Strikes Back. Um, Empire Strikes Back. I feel like that's an A. If it were I'd put, me, it, in I'd put it in A tier. Okay, yeah, I put it B in B. I think it definitely is good. Yeah. I think um, it's definitely um, kind of a bold move. Just yeah. to kind of say like, yeah, we're going to have a, a very sad, un, not really a sad, but we're going to have a very uncertain ending. Yeah. What are you going to do about it? Well, yeah. Obviously, um, everyone just waited, but you know. Yeah. Like, like it, it's, I like it for that. Return of the Jedi, S tier ending. I will be S -tier accepting. Ending. S tier ending in every every version. Um, special I will be accepting no ending. further questions at this time. No further questions. Um, Phantom mm, Menace. Boss. Phantom Menace. Mm, I go A tier. tier. Okay, yeah, A tier. I think... Um, Peace! That part to me is a little bit... Feels a little bit... <laughs> yeah, awkward, but like, but, you, you know, know. There's like yeah. the orb of peace. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's nice though, and it's, I think it's, it it's, takes on more significance when you realize that the Naboo yeah. and the Gungans don't actually like get along that well. Most and of also, the time. it it also adds significance when you realize they're getting played the entire time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, the, the fact that the the Emperor's theme the is actual kind of ending. In there. If we're talking about the actual ending, it would be B. But based on the whole thing that they're being played the entire time, it's A. Yeah, yeah, it's A. Clones. I'd go B. Back of the clones. I'd go B tier, yeah. I, I like the ending than the Clone Wars has. It's, yeah. It's a good okay. moment, and honestly, it's Bold the, move. Bold move here. One of the strongest moments. Sith. S tier. Yeah. I'm happy with that. I think it's good how it, like... It sets Twin Suns never gets old. It sets the stage, and it both, um... Yeah. Awakens. I like how it, um... I like how the yeah. Revenge of the Sith both leaves room for all the feelings that the viewer is feeling after the shock of everything yes, that's happened. Yes, absolutely. But it's also just, yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Awakens. Now, I'd put it at S tier, but I don't think you'd do that. You know, okay, here's something that's, it's going to sound a little weird, but I would put it in S tier, but having seen, then having the seen, last now Jedi, having seen you... The Last Jedi, I would have to put it lower. I feel yeah. like retroactively... It disappointed. It got worse for Retroactively, you. Yeah. I, I can, I can understand that with I'm... A tier. Okay, A tier. So, I'll accept that. So Last okay. Jedi. I okay. think it should be B tier. For me, it's gotta be a D tier. What were you gonna say? I think it should be a B tier. Okay, I can accept that. Maybe we'll do C. Yeah, I mean, a B tier is fine. I know you like it, it, right? It was... A... Last Jedi was a great movie. The beginning scene and the ending scene were not what made it great, in my opinion. Um, I so... understand that. Let's do yeah, C. Whichever you want, C or B. C. A C tier, that, that works. Rogue One. I, I also take, put Rogue One at C. I take, um, if it were me, I would like put it at D tier just because I, um, I take issue with them doing CGI Leia. That being said, if you want to put it in C tier, it's, it's all good uh, by me. Yeah, let's do C tier. I think Clone Wars deserves D tier. D tier. Now, which one is the Clone Wars? The movie. Yeah, or which oh, um, which ending they, scene? They delivered Rod of the Hut, and they, and it's all fine in the end because yeah. Yeah, I think, if you yeah, want it at C, I'll put it at C. Yeah, we can put it at D tier. It's honestly, like you said, for the Last Jedi. For me, I, I, I like the Clone Wars movie, but that is not what, that is not what makes it appealing for me. Okay. Although I do love the line, you never made, made it as Obi-Wan's apprentice, but you just might make that it as That was at the mine. beginning of the movie. Oh, that was at the beginning? Man. Man, I just played myself. I fully just embarrassed myself. Oh my that was gosh. like 20 minutes into that movie. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyway, never okay, mind next. Never mind. You're right though, yeah. You're right. Here we go. The big one. You Lies know what I want to do. You want to put it in S tier? I want to put it in S tier so badly. It may be my favorite ending of these other than Return of the Jedi. Okay. Um, A tier? I would have put it D tier because to me it feels slightly offensive the way they're kind of trying to 
use the same imagery without really deeply exploring the connections but um yeah a tier is a tier is fine i know how much you love it so it's a tier uh, yeah. is is I got my ace tier for Rise of Skywalker and opening and closing. Yeah. I'm, I I can die happy now. Yeah. That's all I needed. <laughs> and then Solo. Um, I can't even remember what the last scene of Solo was. It's them honest. going off to Tatooine to find Jabba the Hutt and start working for him. I didn't think it was B that. tier at best. I think C. Yeah, I think it's a C tier. It, it was just not very memorable. It wasn't bad. It just wasn't memorable. Yeah. As in, I literally can barely remember it. And I had to ask you what it was. <laughs> <laughs> anyway so, okay it is. here we go planets final one jakku mm, jakku i i would put it maybe at a b tier tier it's it's B-tier. cool because of the graveyard the imperial graveyard yeah. but it just feels like such a um such a ripoff of tatooine yeah i get that star killer base Okay, Ilum, I love Ilum. Non Ilum, if it's if it's not Ilum, then I'd put it at like B or C tier. That it is Ilum, I would put it at like A tier. I feel like if it was Ilum, I would put it at S tier. But yeah, it is yeah. Ilum, by the way. Yeah, but like, no, uh, but I mean, like, a. are we cons- are we considering it Ilum? Yes, we are because yeah, consi- yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so considering the history of Ilum, yeah, I'll give it an A. It's 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 pretty great. Kentonica. Cantonica. Is that the planet that Canto Bite is on? Yes. I would put it at a C tier. I feel like we didn't really get to see that much of it. I'd it put it really as B, but like... I'd put it as B, but... Okay. Uh, B is fine, I guess. I think it's a little high, but... Yeah. Utapo. I like the... I think Utapau is a A. I really like the design of it. It seems very... I'd put it at B singles. myself, but okay. Okay, yeah, let's go with, uh, let's go with B. Yeah. Over this here, uh... I would... Let's do a compromise. Let's put uh, Utapau in B and Cantonica in C to balance out the list. Because I just okay, don't start yeah. it off with too many in a high tier. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, Felucia. Mm. I think Felucia could be B or C. Like, yeah, I was nice going to say C myself. It's a nice planet. Do you think Tacodana. you should add an F tier just to give like, no, some No, I don't want to do an F tier. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, Tacodana. Tacodana. What do you think? I was this one up planning here? on putting in B. Yeah, it's a it's neat good. planet. I love great. Mazo's castle until it gets destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> Bespin. Bespin. I think you gotta put Bespin in A or S tier. It's very, very it unique. Dun, and it, dun, it is just dun, 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 everything that dun, happens dun, there dun, is eye candy. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I love it. Bespin. And the best part is the, the contrast between the gritty, oily, grimy Hoth um, and Dagobah. Or I was going to say like the gritty, oily, grimy industrial underside of the city. Oh. And then the very like carefree. It like, was the super, terrace of its super time. Super fancy like upside. Yeah. It was indeed the terrace of its time. It was the terrace of its time. What um, next? We got Yavin 4. If we're I would put Yavin... Legends, I would put Yavin in S. I'd still put Yavin in S. Yeah, I I love the um, kind of the Sith backstory of the temples. Yeah, and I think even in some legends, uh, old like some old Marvel Legends comic, there might I think there's like some kind of a swamp monster that gets into a fight with Chewbacca, and it's a whole thing. I just think it's awesome. Naboo. I'll put Naboo in A tier. Oh, S tier. Okay, yeah. S-tier. No, I'm, I'm I'm fine with that. I, lo- I love the waterfall. I love the image they used for that. I think that's the best part of Naboo, the way the castle is yeah. on this giant rock outcropping. So that it can't be attacked. There we go. Mustafar. Mustafar. I feel like Mustafar is an A-tier planet. Oh, S-tier. Okay. Just because of how, of what it's, what's been expanded upon it in Vader Immortal, in... Um, in uh, uh, not Yeah, Fallen Order, seeing it from Nur. And like the comics, and especially uh, also like the Rise of Skywalker, when we see like the little green patch there, I think it's cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I. I uh... Okay. I. I can. I can agree with that. I, and I. I think it's interesting how. I mean, yeah. maybe this is for everyone else the no duh moment. But it's interesting that that is, actually Lucas's, 
it was based on what Lucas imagined hell to be in his interpretation of hell. Yeah. So I found that very interesting. So what do we have next? Dakar. I think Dakar should Dick- be D tier. Yeah, I, I will see that. I don't think it's, it's not a very, that memorable. It's unremarkable. It seems like Taco Don a two point oh. Like Taco no, it seems like Dakar. Yavin two point oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it, that's one of the moments where the Force Awakens kind of annoys me because it feels like it's nostalgic, but just kind of like for the sake of being nostalgic. Anyway, not, um, yeah. What do we have next? I like Kamino. If the Clone Wars B. weren't included, I would put Kamino at B or C. Given that the Clone Wars are included, I feel compelled to put it in A. Yeah, I think it's a really... I mean, a lot happens on it. It's a very interesting place. And I think that the added... The thing that makes it especially fascinating for me is the added bit of lore that the walls are actually um, brightly painted and patterned in the buildings, but in the ultraviolet spectrum. Because the common yeah. owns can, because the common owns see an ultraviolet. That to me, yeah, that, that's kind of mind, and I wouldn't maybe not mind blowing, but it's just like, yeah. oh wow, that's such a cool. Uh, that's, that's, that's never something I thought of. But we got a bunch of bangers coming up, and I feel like these are all going to rank pretty highly, honestly. But like Kashyyyk, Kashyyyk. I think that's an A tier. I think it's A tier as well. I love the, uh, the fact that it's actually terraformed. Yeah, Octo. I like I'd put it in S. Mm, let's compromise and say A. I feel like we don't see enough of it. We only see it in one movie. Two. Three. Wait. Oh, wait, no, yeah, we do see it in three movies. I'm... My point is, there's only yeah, one no, movie I... in which we really spend quality time on it. Okay, Although, I understand. Although, I forgot that it is, it is in fact, in Force Awakens as well. Thank you for reminding uh, me of that. Patrick okay. Mean. The planet S. where it all began. S tier. Easy. It's a classic. The Forest Moon of Endor. I would say the Forest Moon of Endor is like an A tier. Or, oh, you're putting an S tier? Okay, yeah, I like your style. It's the place where it all ended. It's, yeah, it, and, yeah. I love the Ewoks. I know, I know a lot of people don't like them, but I like the, I like the idea that, wait, they're cute fuzzy teddy bears, but they're actually also, like, blood, they're also actually insane bloodthirsty uh warriors that can really put up a strong fight and actually um, defeat okay, the next. empire's finest yeah next we have coruscant coruscant s tier oh i put it in a oh really oh what how come i like it but like you know okay yeah a a yeah that works for me geonosis i put it in s really yeah okay but actually yeah nah, let's put it in a yeah, I think it is a very striking planet. The scenery is awesome. Yeah. And it is my favorite Battlefront map also on Star Wars Battlefront 2 and yep. the 2005 Star Wars Battlefront 2. Yeah. Here's the one I'm going to fight the hardest for out of these four. Dagobah belongs in S tier. Really? I love okay. Dagobah. Okay. Yeah. Hoth, yeah. I think, should be A tier. Yeah, I think Hoth could be A tier. I think it's it's... It's a it's an interesting planet and it's an interesting yeah. it's refreshing compared to all the desert planets that the Star Wars movies like to hang out on so much. Yeah. I think Megiddo should be D tier just by the fact that we don't really see it that much. Yeah. It would be much higher up for me if we saw it more because the concept of like crystal and ice coming together and becoming one in the same because of how cold it is and how long it's been cold is a cool idea. But yeah, we we just don't really, we just don't really know about it. And then finally, um, I'm convinced that um, crate should be an A tier. Okay, yeah, I like it. I, while I do not like what happens on crate, I I think the planet of crate is very awesome, and it's definitely one of the things I like about the Last Jedi. It's so uh, and visually then, striking and compelling. I'm going to annotate some things because there are a couple of planets that aren't on there that I think we should include. Okay. Such as... Give me a sec. Exegol. It's because it's, it's only from 1 to 8, so we got to do all the 9 planets as well. Mm, that's true. So where do we... Um, give me a Exegol. sec. Exegol. Where, where do we put Ex- Exegol? I would put Exegol at a B I'd tier. put it in S, but like... Okay, let's compromise and say A. I think that's fair. Okay. 
Um, give me a sec. Because I, I, I think Exegol is cool, but I feel as though its whole um, strobe light kind of super theatrical dynamic, it felt almost over overdone. And it didn't feel, maybe believable is the wrong word. I don't know. Oh, I it, love it. It just didn't really okay. rub me the right way. But Next, I we got to talk really cool about um, uh, Pasana and Kajimi and Agent Kloss. Pasana, Kajimi, and Agent Kloss. Okay, remind me which is which again. <laughs> Pasana's the desert one, which I'd put personally in B tier. I think we should put that in C tier. Because for me, it's just like, yet another desert planet. Come on, people. Uh, um, Kajimi is the snowy planet, which I actually think we should put in B tier. Yeah, we, we can put that in B tier. It's an interesting, kind of interesting design, I guess. And then Agent Kloss is the resistance base where Luke and Leia train. I think it should be A or B. I would put that in, I, I would fight strongly for that to be in B tier. It's yet another rebel base or resistance base on the jungle planet. I, I think it's better than, um, uh, than, uh, Dang it. I think it's better than Dakar. Um, but yeah, there we go. Um, that was a crazy long episode. Um, that's going to be it for this episode of Star Wars in a Galaxy. Make sure to check out our stream that we streamed uh, on Sunday. Um, you know, by we will have uh, done it by the time this episode releases. Uh, make sure to follow us on Twitter at In a Galaxy Pod. Uh, uh, Instagram at Star Wars in a Galaxy. You can find us on Anchor, Spotify, Breaker, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, anywhere you listen to your podcasts. We will be there. Um, and next episode, we're going to be covering the Star Wars: The Clone Wars episodes: Grievous Intrigue, The Deserter, and Lightsaber Lost. Um, in the meantime, though, um, I think the only thing to say now is may the force be with you, always.